Hello, my dear gardeners. Every spring, I look forward to seeing these wonderful gentle blooms of blue flax in my front flower border here. And here they are, gentle flowers which are lasting only one day. But you know what? After growing this plant for many years, I am thinking that this gentle um, annual, very short-lived perennial is here to stay in my garden. It is tolerating this um, fairly strong shade which we have here in front of our house in this uh, flower bed, a tough spot I must say because it is between the sidewalk and the road and many years ago we just eradicated all the grass, we planted the trees and we planted the flowers under the trees. So some of the seeds which I purchased that year, I remember, I went to the store and I saw a package of seeds, blue flax, and I'm, I do like blue flowers in the garden. I knew nothing about uh, blue flax seeds, so I just purchased it and I sowed it that year. And look at this, these wonderful gentle flowers started to show up in my garden year after year, receding happily. And now one of the highlights of spring is waiting for these gentle blues coming and just for one day. Each flower has five petals and it lasts just for one day. But because there are so many flowers coming every single day on the stem, that these uh, gentle blooms uh, can last for several weeks in the garden. And uh, in my garden they appear hmm, maybe in the middle of May and they can go all the way to the middle of summer depending on the weather. And of course this flower bed is very dry and a tough space to be. And guess what? Blue flax is perfect for inhospitable, dry, uh, very dry and very poor soils. Blue flax actually wouldn't grow in very fertile and uh, uh, full of moisture soils, soils which are not well drained. And for us, our soils here in Connecticut is generally well drained. And this area, the soil is on the dry side because of the greedy uh, roots of maple trees here. Blue flax would be willing to live on sunny locations. But here, look at this. This is a space um, of almost full shade here under these trees. We get here, we get a little bit of sun here in the afternoon on this, on this flower bed. So I understand my planting uh, choices here would be changing, but I'm still going to keep this wonderful gentle blue flax here because it is happily growing here in um, almost full shade. So why um, this flax is so dry tolerant? You know, when I was pulling some of them out because they were overseeding too much, I looked at the root system and blue flax, sometimes the root reach all the way out, like two feet away from the plant. Um, when blue flax matures, you see these uh, stems here at the bottom, it's semi-woody plant, short-lived uh, perennial and they become kind of woody at the bottom. So maybe some gardeners might find it not really very attractive. I don't mind it. And of course, when you have severe drought, that condition of yellowing from the bottom can become stronger. So I treat my blue flax almost like an annual. I don't like to keep these plants for the second year after they bloom the first year because they get a little bit rugged looking. Like look at this guy. You see here he's old. This is the two-year-old blue flax and it's not really attractive looking. You know he produced some of the flowers but the base of the plant is very rugged and um, so what I'm going to do I'm going just to pull it out and the beauty of blue flax is it happily recedes. So there are plenty of seeds being created on these nice uh, wiry stems and I throw them right away that summer, the same summer, I throw them out into the soil and um, very often blue flax germinates the same year or sometimes it waits till next year. So when you want to introduce blue flax into your garden, 
buy it this summer, throw it around, bury it underground, and then just let it do its own thing. Blue flax is very good for containers. And I never knew that, you know? I was reading about it and I said, oh my gosh, I can do containers with blue flax because it's such a beautiful spring flower. And since blue flax is good to zone three, for me zone six, seven, it will overwinter well in containers. I must say that blue flax is a team player. For example, here, this is kind of busy here. I have Nepeta, walkers low growing. And blue flax, look, it's happily intertwined between all other plants. Still happy to reach high, probably two feet high, and produce these wonderful blooms. So my blue flax is going to bloom for maybe another a week, two weeks, and then it will start forming wonderful seeds. And seeds are quite big. They're probably one-tenth of an inch easy to handle and I'm going to collect those seeds right away and introduce to the back of my garden because I have blue flax only in the front and this year I was thinking it's such an easy to grow short-lived perennial why not to introduce it at the back especially if it tolerates shade tolerates drought conditions tolerates poor soil and it's such a beautiful uh, airy presence in the garden plus I do love blue color in the garden so here we go. Easy to grow, so maybe you would want to introduce something like that in your garden. Happy gardening and I will see you next time.